is the power for the conveyor. So now the core connection is well. This is for the. This is. Yes, we will connect the sin, sin, signal interface. That means the machine will give signal to the conveyor how to work. This is a tu tube pump, pump for the air pump. You see, it's, it, you can hear it's very strong. So now we will set, set this, this size. For example, you will mark the oven housing. So first step, we need to set this size first. Yeah, you can, you can see our technician port that for you. Yes, so we, get, we finally get the size, we will fix the screw. So now our technician will measure this, this distance. Yes, this, you must make sure this size is same as the second zero, yeah. We will connect this pipe to air, to, to supply the uh, air to the conveyor. Here is a switch, now we turn it on. Here, here is the switch, you can see it. This, this crank is for change the conveyor speed. You know, you will mark different, you will mark different material, where you mark different content, so it takes different time. So we need to use this, this crank to adjust the speed of the conveyor. Yes, uh, here is the first part about the connection of the laser machine and the conveyor. So I will show you again, you can, you can see here. Here is the power, if you use, you, you will ignore it. It is a foot switch. The foot switch is in the anterior box. It is a sign signal that machine will give the conveyor. Okay, so here is the main power for the air pump, for the conveyor, for the laser machine. Version we will finish the first part of the connection of the machine and the conveyor. So the second part, I will show you how to uh, use this laser machine. First step, we will turn on the laser machine. Here is, uh, yeah, here is a switch this emergency button we turn it on this is power for the laser source this is for red light yeah next you will you need to turn on the compute yeah we're all done yeah we, here we should use this switch to change the direction of the laser head you know for the big part or something not so suitable for the conveyor, we will use the, you will use this, you can this switch to fix it, make sure it will not move when the marking process. You know that uh, the steel is very important for the marking process. Now our technician turn it in that direction because we will mainly show you how this conveyor work. Now I will in introduce some, some buttons for the conveyor. The first one is same as the laser machine, is a majority stop. When you turn on it, you can see this red light is, yeah, it's already turned on. This is reset, which means uh, you can see the ye yellow 
yellow light is is on. This is auto and manual. You can do, which means you can use the auto automation or the manually. This for start. Let's let's do it again. Yeah, you when you. When you tap the start, you can see the pump is that means it's it's ready to get the material here. Okay. So the second part, how how you to turn use these buttons for the la for laser machine for the conveyor. So we finished the second part. We will get get here for the third part. We will show you the demo of marking process. The third part, we 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 will show you how to use this software and how this conveyor work. First, you will turn uh, it turn on the software. So the first step, you need to set the draw time. What what this draw time? You can see the, here is wait time. What this for? This is means once the material get here, how many? Times it will start marking. That's this. That's with this wait time. What for? Okay. Now we will import the file. You can see this is your logo that you sent to me before for the test. Uh, we already s tested this file, so so you can see it's easy CAD format. That draw. I/O output. What's this for? This is um, software, and that uh, that means the laser machine will give a signal to the conveyor. So you can see there is a man. There is a lot options. We set zeros and the option. No, it's a, which anywhere is fine. Okay, now we set it well. Is the windows of the software so. So mostly we will import or load the files from this this file. You can see this here. Yeah. From you can see here new open save save and import Victor file. This Victor file is your test file. PLT format is the best option. This import bitmap file. This is new. Uh, this this is this. This error is uh, what the files we already load or import, and this part you can see you can change the the speed, power, frequency, Q pass. So mainly you you just need to change the change the power, frequency, speed, and Q pass. So you will you will mainly change these three, these four parameters. You will not change any any others, okay? Select the mark select, uh, which means what will mark you select it all. Now we'll show you how is this works. First, you can see the operator will sit on this side and put the material or some uh, the metal parts on this side. You can see the iPhone house is moving slowly to get here. Yeah, of course you can change the speed. We just want to show you a slowly process. Now finally, he it get here first one. The cold of me, you find here again. This is second one. Yeah, you can see the first one already get here. Now it get mar start marking. Yeah, at this moment you can see the second second part is waiting here. So now it first one is finished the marking. So it go. Now the second part will get marking. Yeah, you can see our technician already put the third one there.
Yeah, second van is finished. You can see from here, so can we someone can collect the marking products. Okay, this is the third one. Yeah, the third one is finished. You can see the CD3 part mark flow slowly moving. Okay. So, this is the third part of the marking process. You can see the laser gives a very good marking effect. So, now we are finished it. You can see. When the marking this large is red, okay. That's the demo. I what I wanted to show you. So we will give you some support after you get in the machine and the conveyor. So now everything seems goes well. Good luck.